What's up guys and welcome to a game called Lawbreakers. Now I know a lot of people are very on the edge about buying this game because they're saying it's just another Overwatch copy. But that is such a lie. This game is so different. This game has different mechanics that Overwatch doesn't need to take advantage of. And I just find that so interesting. Every character has a completely different kit and I guess that it is a similarity you can put to Overwatch. But it's not the same at all. This game has so much three-dimensional movement at all times, moving up, down, left, right, strafing all over the place. You'll never know what's going to happen next or where someone's going to come from. Every character has its own purpose and nobody really has to rely on each other except for the battle medic, I guess you could say. But this game is just so interesting in its own way that Overwatch can't even compare to. I would put them in two different categories besides the fact that they're both hero shooters. Overwatch is more of a MOBA, why this is more of an arena shooter. Well, let's get into Lawbreaker's characters and how they all work in their own different ways. And then I'll show you a little bit of gameplay from the most simplest character, I'd say, which would be the Enforcer. Here's the roster the game has at the moment, consisting of the Vanguard Enforcer, Titan, Assassin, Gunslinger, Juggernaut, Battle Medic, Wraith, and Harrier. Each of these characters have their own we dedicated weapons that all work in their own ways, which I find extremely fun, because you never feel like you're playing the same character when you switch over to another one. Now the game also consists of many customization options for you to choose from to make your character look extremely unique to how you want it to look. But there is a box opening system, but if you get a duplicate it does give you credits, similar to Overwatch's system of loot boxes. I, this system I do like, but at the same time there are a lot of things in them, so you're probably not going to get what you want towards the beginning, but later towards the end, depending on your luck. But, you know, it's still a lot of nice stuff you can get in the boxes, such as these skins. Instead of um, epics, they call them boss skins. And these boss skins do look, as they say, boss. Now here's some gameplay from Enforcer. At the beginning, I'm going to be showing you guys him in private match, because I was kind of testing out his kit a little bit, seeing how he works. I didn't really remember from the beta. So, he has a AR, a Badger, which is his secondary, it's like a shock pistol. Then he has a EMP grenade and a boost to his speed. His ultimate is a cluster of missiles that lock onto a target, shooting four salvos at the target, killing them usually unless it hits a wall. Um, I find this character very, you know, simple to teach people because it's like one of the simpler classes in concept. Now there are much harder characters in the game. Well, harder per se for certain people's play types 
Now, there's probably only two problems I do have with the game at the moment, and I'll probably put up two clips, like, showing what I'm talking about. It's a little bit of, like, lag, but it's not actual lag. It's more like visual lag, where everything's still moving, but your frames just drop to absolute zero. Then there's uh, another problem I have when I'm playing Harrier, where the character's body, I guess, just glitches in front of her face and she can't see anything for a little bit. Only happens when I'm walking out of spawn usually, or when I'm flying directly backwards using her one of her abilities. So I find that a problem, but that's probably the only two problems that I've come up with while playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.